Hi. I'm ill. And I want to talk about it. No, I've not made my bed. No, my room is not tidy. But that's okay, because I'm ill. Listen, I'm not actually like really, really, really ill or anything. I'll be fine in like a day or two. But I am slightly poorly. And that for me means I want to complain. Because <laughs> complaining is my favourite thing. Um, I've said it on this channel before. I am a born and bred attention seeker. I'm sorry. But it is the curse of being a self-aware attention seeker. And um, that one and poorly, I want to tell literally everyone about it. <laughs> but also, the more I do, the more I sort of hate myself, just a little bit, just a tiny bit, just, just a fraction. Because I'm very aware that is an annoying, irritating, insufferable thing to do. Let me tell you a story. I'm gonna use my story shawl. Oh, well, so aesthetic. When I was young, my little sister would go and cry on the stairs when she was upset. She would just cry and cry and cry. She would wail and wail and blubber and blubber so loudly, causing the biggest racket that she could. <coughs> so that we would all know how sad she was. And we'd all feel sorry for her and mum and dad would go and give her a cuddle because that's obviously what she wanted. She was only, she was only little, she was only young and it worked. And also if the door was closed so we couldn't hear her wailing um, as much she would go and she would she would open the door crying as she did so and then she'd go back and sit on her stairs now with the door open and wail as loudly as she could in order to make as much noise as possible and get all the attention she could and attention would be served just as she had ordered it fair enough it worked very effective strategy well done Anna but I was above that as a child because I knew that that was irritating and annoying. I didn't want to be irritating and annoying, so I wouldn't do anything like that. Um, I would just go about my day being older and better than poor little Anna, and I would be grateful when attention did come my way, and I would crave it when it didn't. <laughs> um, and I wouldn't demand it by wailing on the stairs, but I would do other little, slightly subtler melodramatic things. Meanwhile, I would daydream about situations when attention would flood my way. So if I was sick or hurt and people would just fawn over me or save me or come and rescue me or just shower me with sympathies, I wasn't being annoying in those daydreams because I had genuinely been hurt. Like I'd been kicked over a wall or something or hit by a car or trapped in a burning building. <coughs> so as that damsel in distress, everybody had to come and be nice to me. Um, and I would just lap it all up in fake scenarios in my brain, staring out the window in like year three. But now I'm poorly, that part of me is like, this is my time to shine. I'm genuinely a damsel in distress. My distress is audible in my croaky voice. <coughs> this is my moment to get the attention that I deserve. And I want to just harvest all this attention like an autumnal little gremlin. Just, just, just grabbing it. Grabbing it between my clammy fingers towards my peely face, all this dry skin that I've had from constantly blowing my nose. I am disgusting, ladies and gentlemen. But when you're actually sick, you realise that all you want to do is sit inside in your bed and binge watch The World's Toughest Prisons on Netflix and drink peppermint tea and lemon and honey um, that's been delivered to you by kind family members or flatmates and also sleep. You're not exactly surrounded by people fanning and fawning over you. Because <coughs> yeah, this this isn't a dream illness where you're a tragic heroine being all damsel and distressy <coughs> and just all sort of weak and floppy and lovely and that's the only illness you've really got. You're a human snot machine, this is reality. You've got a hacking cough, you're all gross and snotty and grumpy and maybe you've got a headache and no one wants to come and hug you because you're sick and gross and why would they want to? Ugh. Also, now that I'm an adult, I know that I'm actually, I'm not that sick. <coughs> she says coughing. No, I know I'm not that sick. I'll be fine in like a day, is like whatever. There are loads of people way sicker than me, loads of people who can't just stay in bed, they don't have that privilege to be just delivered tea. 
just lie around all day um, when they're poorly. And really what I've just got is just a cold with a few added extras. A fever and a snotty nose, yay me. Like it's not that, like, it's not that big of a deal. Everyone gets ill, whatever. And then it's like, well, am I even sick? Like, do I even deserve to be putting up such a fuss? Am I just complaining? To be fair, I love complaining. Am I just making a big deal out of nothing? And to be fair, I am. Well, not out of nothing, but I'm making a mountain out of a molehill because I know that I enjoy it deep inside myself. I like being all melodramatic and I like complaining. I find great joy out of it. And it's because I like attention. So I'm like, well, Hattie, you're just making a big deal out of it. Stop right there. Stop complaining. It is annoying, I get that. But then I'm like gatekeeping myself for being ill. <laughs> <clears throat> and then I feel like guilty if I'm not being productive or if I just like spend a couple of days lying in bed not doing anything when I could be helping out doing chores or I could be at work doing my job and being productive there so I feel like I'm just kind of wasting people's time including my own <clears throat> just by being sick and that's kind of rubbish um like who has imposter syndrome when they're ill like for goodness sake that's such a stupid thing Anna's told me that I should embrace my inner stair whaler. And maybe, maybe I should, maybe we all should. Maybe we should all demand what we want when we want it. Well, maybe not. Maybe we should all demand what we need when we need it. How about that? And I suppose the stair crier version of this is making a YouTube video telling everybody that I'm ill. <coughs> <coughs> so I've just done that. Um, you're welcome. I do slightly hate myself for it. Who knows it? Maybe I won't edit this video. Maybe I will. Um, and the thing is, maybe I will, because then it also feels like I'm being productive, so I get to satisfy that more adult part of me that just wants to have something to do and be useful. Because if I was just demanding attention on the internet just because I'm poorly for like a day, that is pretty pathetic. And I feel like the self-loathing would creep in, and for good reason, because ugh. <clears throat> Who wants to be that person? But then also part of me feels like I've kind of hacked the system. I'm kind of pleased with that. I've been productive because I've made a YouTube video. Well, I haven't yet, but maybe I will. And I've been able to shout from the rooftops the good news that I'm a poorly person and will be for the next, like, 24 hours, maybe. Who knows? Literally, who knows? So that's what I've done. Should I have been using my day off to sleep and recover and recuperate and take a long bath like I said I was going to? Probably yes, but I've done this instead. <coughs> You're welcome. Or I'm welcome. Um, I'm welcome, is that a phrase that we can say? I don't know. Okay. That's it, I'm gonna go back to bed now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>